So we are doing another Abyss review. This one is going to be Cyan, who follows me on TikTok and is in the Discord server. If you want me to do a, a review of your Abyss, talking about that, do be sure to join the Discord server. There'll be a channel for you to post links to your Abyss runs. Um, if you're worried about them, like, oh, they're not perfect, they're not great, that's fine. We have people that are posting all different kinds, so it's perfectly, perfectly fine. Anyway, Cyan, we have a treat from Cyan. I happen to know that Cyan is a Noel main. Uh, so their team, Zhongli, Farina, I'm assuming C6 Goru, and then C6 Noel. So let's see how this goes. All right, so we got Zhongli casually breezing in, starting with his burst. Okay, let's see how much damage that did. Uh, 54,321. I like that. 54321. That's actually really, really good, Cyan. I don't know if you do that on purpose or not, but that's actually really, really cool. Okay, it's 54,000, so a great way to start. Going to Goru, dropping a skill. 8,600. I'm assuming that your Goru is going to have um, Favonius Warbow, right? To get the energy recharge up so that way you can give as much uh, support to Noel as possible. Farina summon, it looked like, yeah, 13,000. We can see right here, if I move out of the way. Uh, 13,494 on the Serena summon. Nice. Pretty good. On the burst, 27,227. Uh, then we got a 25,952. Both of those, all of those are going to be pretty, pretty good. So now, in case those, for those that don't know, Farina and Noel work together really, really good because Farina drains the HP of your entire team to increase her damage and Noel heals your entire team when you use her skill and her burst together. So with how Farina buffs with her burst with fanfare points, the more that your HP increases and decreases during her burst, during the duration of her burst, the more fanfare points that she gets, meaning the more healing bonus and damage bonus she gives out. So Farina and Noel together is amazing. So we're gonna go to Noel. Um, <laughs> okay, so Noel does have a red horn, which is Ido's uh, signature weapon, which I guess now is Noel's signature weapon. On the use of her skill, 12,568, really, really good. Um, I'm going to assume, again, a lot of assumptions, you're probably using uh, Marshmallow Hunter on Noel for the increase in crit rate from the HP fluctuation, right? Uh, pairing it with Farina. Typically, your on-field uh, damage dealer is going to be running um, Marshmallow Hunter if you're using her with Farina. Then of course, geez. Then of course we have the activation of the burst, which does 50,620 damage. Uh, this 13,000 13, over here, I'm gonna assume is a non-crit on that enemy. On the swing, 20,000 on the initial hit, 39,000 from, I'm gonna, that's probably gonna be Mademoiselle Crebelette uh, from Farina. So you can see that the enemies have already lost uh, about a fifth of their HP, I would say going into and this is just from setups right his his noel hasn't even started dealing damage yet this is still all of just the setup for this on the swing 76,735. then we have the 20,000 non-crit that is crazy that means that this should just continue to go up because farina's burst is going on Goru is giving a Geo damage bonus and a Geo damage crit bonus and all of this stuff that's happening and a defense bonus, which Noel uh, scales off of defense whenever you use her burst. So all of this that's happening, you should see these numbers start to go up as Noel is hitting and Farina's minions are sucking HP and you're gonna see not only Noel's HP, but you should be seeing everybody else's HP fluctuate a little bit. The more it fluctuates, the higher the damage is going to be. Something else that I wanted to do in these Abyss reviews is talk about why these teams work together so well. So in this, you can see Farina and Noel do work together. Well, you're about to see it whenever he starts attacking. Goru is buffing Noel and uh, Zhongli is also buffing Noel as well. Second hit, 74,650, or uh, 74,611, already gone up. 59,622, Farina has already gone up in damage as well. 
82,765. Again, it's just going more up. This 24,481 is probably going to be one of Farina's lower damage vampire minions. And you can also see though the healing numbers going up as well. Uh, just be sure to watch their HP again. That was a 47,000, jeez dude, a 103,269. Um, also, like this is crazy how quickly the damage is going up for Noel. 71,941, this is 19,000 down bottom too. Farina had just hit another 57,000. Noel hit another 60,557. Uh, another 18,000 right in there as well. 68,878, uh, 31,900. All of these are really, really good numbers. And you're, you're, you're keeping everybody grouped, which is really, really good too. 78,895. I'm going to assume, maybe not, maybe I'm wrong. Hey, let's see here. Has Goro's skill ended at this point? Okay, so as you can see, Goro, uh, this yellow line kind of around everybody is from Goro's skill, giving Farina a defense buff and a geo damage buff. Uh, no, okay, it might still be there. We just may not be able to see it because of the frost on the ground. It was 103,000, it was 71,000, 60,000, 68,000, 78,895. Why don't you, Cyan, uh, every time that I've seen this team, I've seen them do the Noel charge bug, where you're stuck in a perpetual spinning top without using her stamina. Why do you just not prefer that? Or do you find that this works better? Because I'm sure that'll be a question that people will ask. Another 119,180, uh, which is crazy. Uh, 50,554. I'm going to go back and find the other one that broke 100,000 and see how much it's got up in damage. All right, so it's the initial hit. 50,000, 76,000, 74,000, 82,000, 103,000. Okay, so then that one was 103,000. The next time that you do that same attack, 119. Yeah, okay, so as you can see, it is going up. There's more to this video. Did you run a second half? No. Okay, that's just your loading screen. Um, okay, so as you can see, uh, C6 Noel with C6 Guru and Farina is phenomenal. Um, I do eventually... Ooh, a Dia Chevy Sayu Yunjin. Interesting. Is that actually a team that you use? Or is that just happen to be here? And you just like had to throw something in to get to the second half. Let me know on that as well, because I'm curious about that. Um, because I'm trying to think about what this team would do. That has to just be characters that you throw in. Anyway, sorry. Um, let's go back to this. So as anybody can see, as everybody can see, Noel, Farina, and Goro together are phenomenal. Specifically C6 Goro. C6 Goro starts to act like C6 Sara um, and C6 Farazan, where you're getting a very, very specific kind of crit damage buff being Geo with Goro. So putting them together can be phenomenal. Zhongli giving you some shred uh, of the enemy's uh, resistances, Farina giving you buff, Farina also just giving you overall damage as well. But because of how Farina drains HP and Noel heals the whole team, it's such a good combination to go together. In fact, I want to build a team of C1 Chiori, uh, Noel, Goru, and Farina. I do want to make that team that is a team that I desperately want to make, but I don't have C1 Chiori, so I'm kind of putting it on the back burner. But that'll be it for this video. Again, if you want to submit one of your Abyss reviews, talks, discussions, I might change it to Abyss discussions. If you want to submit for an Abyss video, do be sure to go check out the Discord. I'll see you in the next one.